Hi, uh, I'm Ollie Rayner. I play for Sussex, and uh, I'm going to show you what's in my kit bag for Equipio.com. Um, yeah, well, as you can see, this is my locker, a very messy part of the change room, situated next to the bin. Everything seems to gravitate over here. But anyway, starting uh, with my footwear, um, I've got Adidas trainers uh, spiked up by Brian and Brenda. Um, they don't tend to last as long as cricket shoes, but I find them a lot more comfortable. And uh, since we're on our feet for most of the day, uh, well, we have been for parts of this season anyway, but yeah, uh, so they're obviously very important. Uh, I've got another little naughty pair of trainers. These are for my gym work and indoor school. Uh, as you can see, like Jade B Dernbach's, uh, they've not been used to an awful lot in the gym yet, um, but we're working on that one. Um, so yeah, and then, so if we go into my kit bag, uh, much the same as what you've just seen with Chris Nash, uh, all the usual bits and bobs, outer thigh pad, bumps on there, as you can see the, it's not custom made so I do get a few bumps just under it because I'm a little bit bigger than the intended user uh, for that, uh, inner thigh pad, completely opposite, biggest inner thigh pad in the world but obviously very good for me because uh, I'm a bit of a sitting duck on our back so I need as much protection as I can get. Um, helmet, um, I've usually used uh, C&D helmets but this year I've just made a bit of a change to Missouri uh, which I find uh, find them really really comfortable. Thankfully I've not been hit too hard on it yet but like I said I'm having to work on the short ball. Um, so yeah, uh, another very important piece of kit that's been with me. Uh, as you can see the sock's been with me for quite a while as well probably do with a wash but that's my box um, and gloves lots of pairs of gloves like Chris uh, do sweat uh, although I'm not tending to be in uh, at the crease for as long as him uh, obviously um, so yeah uh, these as well look I don't know how many cricketers will have these these are wicket keeping uh, inner gloves um, and these are put on, they've got a bit of a protection so if I want to do a, a large amount of catching, a high volume of catching uh, as I'm a slipper, these are more for early season, now my hands are harder than stone so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, Digging a little bit deeper, this is my, my county cap, um, I'm not capped like Chris so I've got the, the silver crest so that's how it differs, uh, I think this is actually one of the original ones that stayed with me for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, well before we get on to all the other kit, very important piece of kit as well, my FHM, my travel sized FHM which goes around me, because unlike Chris I spend most of my time when we're batting sitting around, not doing an awful lot. Um, it is 2020 season at the moment, uh, so these are my 2020 pads, um, I'm sponsored by Mongoose. Uh, these are again these are quite small but I, I prefer them smaller in one day cricket uh, just I'm not the quickest around the pitch so these help me a little bit clutching at straws a bit there um, coming on to my bats these are these are my mongoose bats at the moment uh, these ones have actually been brought into me from India because uh, I quite like the the shape and the and the amount of wood you get for the weight so uh, that's my number one at the moment and as you will probably know with Mongoose they also do a very silly little bat as well called the MMI3 uh, this one hasn't been as used as much I have to admit uh, so Marcus will be on, on to me about that trying to get me to use that a little bit more but um, that's for trying to sort of hit out in one day cricket more than uh, playing in the four day stuff um, another very important piece of kit for me uh, big guy spend a lot of time on my feet get stiff it's a foam roller just compresses your muscles if you lie on it and, and whatnot so uh, yeah that's quite important for me actually I've actually gone and bought my own one because uh, the ones we have have turned into rectangles and uh, triangles so not so comfortable um, as you know in England we're not always blessed with the weather so I'm a bit of a badger and I uh, like to play a lot of backgammon when it rains. It's my backgammon set, my prestigious backgammon set. And um, again, if you look into my locker, much the same as Chris, a couple of bottles of bubbly, which I've been very fortunate to be handed down. Uh, we actually have a hydro pool here at Sussex, so I have actually got some goggles and some speedos. 
to all the girls out there. As it's probably best that uh, you don't see that. And my uh, hand flippers. So loads going on in my locker. Um, my iPod, obviously, uh, for when we're sort of out and we're we're sitting around, or if we're trying to get ready and zone in for batting. That's my iPod. And uh, and then at the end of the day, I've just got my my wash bag, which I carry around obviously everywhere. Important to look ream, smell ream, be ream. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going on in my locker at, at the moment. But uh, as you can see, quite a messy locker, quite a lot going on. So thank you very much.